Okay, the question asks us to draw a flow chart and write a program to print the season based on a given month using if, else if, else, and end. So flow chart wise, uh, we, we assume that 12, 1, and 2, they go to winter. And then we have 3, 4, and 5, they go to spring. 6, 7, 8 go to summer. And then 9, 10, 11 goes to fall. So in algorithm, what I'm going to say, I'm going to say, okay, start read the month if the month is or or month is equal to 12 or month is less than 3 okay if this condition is true yes call let's call this winter if no check whether m is less than 6 because again we pass this condition we go to the second condition the second condition m is less than 6 yes let's write this as spring then no no, check whether M is less than 9 or not. If this is less than 9, call this summer. If no, call it fall. At the end, everything come back to itself. So this is a flow chart, a graphical representation of how the flow of information will be in our script. So when I go back to script, I'm going to say M is equal to input. Give me a month. In the first condition, I'm going to say if M is equal, equal to 12 or M is less than 3. So equal, equal, this is logical equality. And then this double line, this is used for or. We use it like a parallel condition in electricity. But this is also used for, like in electricity, in geometry, we use this parallel line. MATLAB use the same thing, parallel meaning that or. Less than 3, call this winter. So what I'm going to do in the, in, in the beginning, I'm going to save and run this code, this snippet. Give me a month. I'm going to give it a month of 12. So it says that month 12 is winter. Let's just save and run the program. Again, this is called line by line scripting. We, write, we don't write the whole program and then check something is wrong with it. So I'm going to give it a number like 5. It shouldn't print anything. It just print m is equal to 5, right? Because this condition was not true, it just printed the first line here, which I can actually exclude this in my calculation. I put the semicolon here. So instead of putting n here, I'm going to put else if so else if is used for nested if in our case so if else m is less than six then i'm going to copy this line and i put it underneath there in this case i'm going to call this one month is spring and then i'm going to continue with another else if M is less than 9. F printf, this is summer. At the end, I'm going to say another else. Remember, you use else if, else if. At the end, you have to use else. So else if can be repeated as many as many times you want. But at the end, you have to have else. So else this false. So let's save and run this. So give me a month. I'm going to give you the month of four. So the answer four is spring. Now I'm going to I'm going to save and run this. As you can see, I can I can like for instance, I need to do this for a lot of time, and I don't want to save and run again. I'm going to just go a little bit for a loop. 4, i is equal to 1 until like a thousand times. Just repeat that, okay? How you can, re don't repeat that, then I say if m is equal, m is greater than 12, then break the, break the loop. Again, the reason I did that because I hate saving and running every time to do that. This will give me like for unlimited time. Give me a month. I'm going to give you month of three. You say that month three is spring. I'm going to use a, a backslash n here just to go to the next line. Okay. Okay, use a slash line, my bad. Okay, back is slash n. Okay. 
guess I need to use this maybe at the end of the line. The end of the line here. And here. So save and run. Give me a month, month of three. Again, then you say that month of three is the spring and like asking for another month. I'm going to say month of seven. Give me months of eight. So I'm just checking whether this is right. Month of seven is summer. Month of eight is summer. I'm going to give it 11. Month of 11 is fall. I'm going to give it 12. Month of 12 is winter. So this will be repeated for a lot of time. Now, how you can stop this rule? I said that if M is greater than 12, simply break it. So now we don't have a month 13, for instance. So then this thing uh, supposed to stop, but it didn't stop. So, but again, you have a break here. It's supposed to break the rule. So let me just to go and recap of what I taught. So let me just to delete this and everything related to loop. So in this case, I have the M as the month, and then I have one if, two else if, and else and, and I check the code. The code is working. Uh, accurately.